today we are visiting the ancient city of Bangkok. It's one and a half hours out of the city. This area of Bangkok is hard to get to and less touristy. However, we will have an eSIM with Aerolo and so we will have connection throughout. This video is brought to you by Aerolo. So we're currently in the centre of Bangkok. We're in Siam Centre and we need to figure out how to get to the ancient city. Joel's just looking up some directions on his phone with his eSIM because we have no idea how to get there. I found out how to get there. We need to take the BTS SkyTrain from here all the way quite a distance and then we have to change transport so let's get on the sky train let's go even though there's no requirements to come into thailand you actually still have to wear masks on public transport in bangkok so i was just looking online about the ancient city and apparently if you buy your tickets before you go, you save money. So I've just bought them with the eSIM. We've saved like 50% of the ticket price, which is great. So the next step is to get a 10 minute taxi to the ancient city. And I think I've just seen some taxis down here. So we're gonna be in good hands. Mm. What are you eating? A banana cake. <laughs> 10 baht. 10 baht, ancient city? It is, it is. So 10 baht, 10 baht? 10 baht, 10 baht. Okay. So, some guy just came up to us and said 10 baht each. So, we're going to the ancient city on this thing. You coming? Yeah, 10 baht each, that's a bargain. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, we've just arrived at the ancient city entrance where I'm quite excited for this. We've already got our ticket because we booked it online just literally 20 minutes ago on the train. Um, and yeah, here we go. This space is supposed to be beautiful. So booking online was super easy. We literally went straight to the check-in desk and she just checked us in and yeah, makes we, everything so smooth. We got the online ticket here and we saved 50%, so there's no reason why you shouldn't. So we have just rented bikes for 150 baht each and you have to like get the key and drop a deposit of a couple of hundred baht as well, but then you get that back at the end. So let's ride some bikes around the ancient city. We've just got our bikes. These are trusted vehicles for the rest of the day. Are you ready? I haven't ridden a bike since I was a kid, so I'm a bit nervous. I'm hoping I remember how to do it. You never forget how to ride a bike. Come on, you've got it. Oh, <laughs> Amelia's doing it. Yes. How many years ago was that? I haven't ridden one for like 10 years, I swear. <laughs> I'll be honest, these bikes are not great like they're a bit wobbly but they're all right yeah all right we don't really know where we're going but we might try and stop off and get some food or something these are awesome right let's go on an adventure just reached our first spot and this is the pavilion of the enlightened and it looks amazing there's so much gold it's actually beautiful it just doesn't look real yeah <laughs> Joel and I keep mistaking these statues for real people and we thought, oh my gosh, it's so busy here. Like, there's so many people, but they're actually all statues, so um, we feel a bit stupid now. <laughs> <laughs> How many there are. From up close, they don't look real, but when we were far away, it was quite confusing, wasn't it? It did look very lifelike, to be honest. <laughs> It's like I'm sitting back to back with this guy, but he's just a statue. Anyway, I've been doing some research with my data just to like learn more about the ancient city because there's not loads of signs around here. Because this whole museum park, there's 116 structures and this is just one of them. There's loads, loads more. Um, but there, some of them are replicas of old ones and then some of them are like actually been taken and moved here. So yeah, there you go. We are back on the bike now, but there's actually another way you can get around the city and that is via golf buggy. Um, that costs a lot more money. So it's 350 baht for the first hour and then 100 baht each hour after that. So yeah, but honestly, it's really flat around here. As you can see, you really don't need an electric vehicle. Like it's so easy to cycle and we're not getting hot. It's actually quite cooling in the air. Ooh, what's this place? Should we stop off? Anyway, in 2023, everyone just wants to be connected all the time. I'm not sure I could survive without having data on my phone. And that's why you need an eSIM 
if you are traveling abroad. I have just teleported back to the hotel because I need to tell you about Aerolo. I don't know about you, but being connected in 2023 is just so important to do practically anything. Aerolo is going to solve your problems with connectivity whilst you're abroad. They provide instant and affordable connectivity through eSIMs. One of the first things Amelia and I do when we get to a new country is get data. And we've been using eSIMs for a while now. Honestly, it is the easiest way to stay connected and I don't know what we'd do without an eSIM. The great thing about an eSIM with Aerolo is that you do not need a physical SIM card. It's really easy to download from just one single app and as long as you have an eSIM compatible device and an unlocked network, then you're good to go. One of my favorite things I love about using an eSIM is that I can still receive calls and SMS on the original number, which means family and friends can easily contact me. I highly recommend getting yourself an eSIM with Aerolo. There is still one thing I need to tell you and that is if you need help downloading an eSIM with Aerolo, then I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a full tutorial video just gonna help you out okay let's go back to the ancient city we have just arrived at the ghost museum and this one looks a little bit creepy it really does and the sounds inside are a bit creepy it looks like haunted <laughs> right let's have a look what is that So we've just come up to the top of this museum and Joel is basically walking around translating all the Thai words with his phone. Um, yeah, how's it going? Um, pretty well. So with my data, I can just take a picture of the words so I can translate it immediately rather than having to type it in because obviously I don't have Thai characters on this keyboard. Um, we don't read Thai, obviously. <laughs> So I am getting pretty hungry now and I've just been researching like a different restaurant because there was one back there but it was super expensive whereas this one is like so much cheaper and the reviews pretty good so we're gonna head there now. So I've got a fried rice for just 60 baht. The buffet restaurant which we looked up online was 280 baht whereas this is so cheap to 60 baht so yeah. Dig in. And it's good. I'm getting used to this bike riding now I'm a bit of a pro. Yeah? Look at me go! The one thing about these bikes is there's no gears, so when you go uphill, it's tough. Which way should we go? That way? Let's go this way. Look at this one we're coming up to. This is massive. Cause you're my home away from home away from So I recommend coming here as early as possible, like 9am I think is when it opens because it does get really hot and we're gonna head back to the city now. There are a couple of ways, obviously the way we came on that little bus and then the SkyTrain, but you can also order a grab if you've got an eSIM on your phone. So if you do want to, make sure you've got data and you can order a grab and you can get taken directly back to the city, to your hotel. So we are back in the city now and we're gonna be taking you to one of the best viewpoints in the whole of Bangkok. It's one of the, I think it is the tallest building in the whole city. So it's gonna have some epic views. So we've never actually had like a proper view of the city, have we? No, I'm really excited. We've not been up to like a sky deck before. So. And it is getting towards sunset, so it's gonna be cool. Oh, I think I just saw the building. So this is the building we're actually going up and it looks really, really tall. It is, <laughs> look at it. We booked our tickets online and we've exchanged them. So we've got, it was 920 baht each with a drink. Um, and then now we're gonna go up the elevator. It is the highest um, view deck in the whole of Thailand. So let's go. So cool. My ears are popping. Same. I wonder how fast we're going. We're well, 40th floor already. 50. Wow. Oh my God. It's so foggy. <laughs> How much smog is in this city? It's a bit worrying. That is incredible. Whoa. How amazing is that? I've never seen Bangkok from like this sort of perspective. It's insane. And you, let's be honest, you can kind of see how smoggy it is, but it is beautiful. So we are going up to the 75th floor. I'm not sure what the top level is, but I think that's the sky deck area. Oh, I think it goes up to 78. 78? The glass tray, they call it. Oh. <laughs> because it is a glass deck, we've just been given these like socks to cover our shoes so we don't get the glass like dirty. Whoa, Whoa look at this place. This is the glass tray. You can see all the way down to the city.
also the sun has just set and we're just chilling on this little sofa with this view. It looks so cool. There is a bit of cloud so the sun has already set. I'd recommend coming at like four because the sun set actually pretty early tonight just because of the cloud layers and the smog. So make sure you come early if you want to see a sunset glow on the city. And also at sunset it gets super busy. That's why we come down to kind of avoid the crowds. We just come down from the sky deck and honestly the views up there are insane but it did get very busy towards the sunset. I hope you found this video useful and I highly recommend getting an eSIM with Air Alert. Honestly, when you're traveling, it is so important to be connected and it just makes traveling so much easier. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye.